Hi, welcome to another video. I'm Lorraine Nakar. I'm going to talk about the two books that I've read last week with you. I hope this video won't be too slow or anything. It's very warm out here. There's a heat wave going on and I can feel it really having an effect on my energy. Also, I was on a weekend with friends in um, Belgium last weekend, so yesterday and the days before. And we biked a lot and I ran and we swam and it was warm so I'm still kind of recuperating from that as well. Uh, as I was also in France last week I only finished two books and one was I think kind of small so there's that. Anywho, the first that I finished was uh, The Architect's Apprentice by Elif Shafak and in this book we meet Jahan who is 12 years old and he, he, is, um, he arrives to Istanbul and he is accompanying a young elephant, Shota, and he is, and the elephant is a gift to the Sultan from another country, can't remember what. And Jahan is supposed to take care of the elephant. He is the Mahout, so the elephant tamer, rider, uh, caregiver, etc. And Jahan is pretty bright, so he also becomes later on in the book the one of the four apprentices of the royal architect. And this book, we follow Jahan's whole life, caring for Chota, uh, going to war, helping his master, setting up all of these mosques. Uh, he's traveling to other countries, well, to one other country to see uh, other buildings. Uh, he falls in love with someone. And he's also on the sidelines when he, other people try to stop his master, the architect, from building all of these buildings. This book is beautifully written. And despite it being 400 pages, it was a very easy read. It was a breeze to get through. I had two negatives. The first is that there isn't an overarching plot. All of the things that happen are very episodical and are very separate from one another. So you could read one and it wouldn't really be related to anything that happened later on. And I do prefer books that have feeling of going somewhere and I didn't really get it in the in this which wasn't really uh, to my liking although it was still fine um, and the next is that this takes place over decades and decades and we are not told that time is passing the the hints that we are given of time passing are very subtle and very far and very few in between so for example it's, oh, Chota is a young young elephant, blah, 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 blah. And then a chapter start, and it's the chapter is about Shota being in heat and wanting to mate with a female elephant. And it's confusing because you were still under the impression that Chota was this one-year-old elephant and still rather small. So there was a lot of stuff like that. So, for example, so another character is at one point marries another. And when we return to that character, they have four children. So that was that was confusing. I didn't I didn't really like it. I prefer it when you're given I don't need to know 10 years have passed necessarily, but I do need a little bit more than that. But I do think that's personal. I do think uh, for other people, for you maybe, it could be very possible that you like that feeling of the timelessness uh, that the book has. Uh, overall, it was a very enjoyable read. I recommend it if you like longer episodical uh, books or uh, historical fiction. I like that this was set in the 16th century in Turkey. It was a time and a place that I did not know a lot about and it was and this book does give you a feel for that atmosphere and for the political intrigues that were there. So there's The Architect's Apprentice. I do still really like Elif, Elif Shafak's writing. This is the second book I read of hers and I think I'm going to pick up a third. Then I have finished now the first volume of La Convoitise, which is uh, part of the Le Grand Magasin series. This is in French and it has not been translated in English and it was written by Marilène Pion. In this book we follow two characters, Oleg and Lauriane, uh, in Montreal in 1926 and both are very hardworking, very loyal, very kind, very dutiful to their family and we find, and they find themselves, I mean, uh, working for a big department stores. Oleg is Ukrainian and he lives with his mother and at one point in, early on in the story he's attacked by two very vengeful idiot men 
and that's the reason he finds himself working at the department store uh, because that is a job that he is physically then able to do and Lorianne lives with her mother and her three siblings and her older brother wastes his life away in the bottle and she is the main breadwinner. Obviously both are good at their jobs, they find love in the department store, etc, etc. Now the writing is in this is rather bad, I have to say, there's a lot of repetition. Even halfway through the book, um, characters are named by their full names, so even in the narration you're sort of, oh, Lauriane Bousquet does this and that, and I know her name. You don't need to tell me her family name as well. Uh, that makes it very heavy, and there's more stuff like that. Even uh, Oleg has a mentor, father figure, and we're told repeatedly that this man sees him as a son, and that he sees this man as a son. And that's all that we're told about their relationship, and I, especially as this is character driven, I wanted more depth. And Oleg and Lorianne are very similar. They're both, as I said, hardworking, dutiful, etc., etc. And really the only things that sets them apart is their family situation. So that's too bad. And the plot is also rather predictable. Uh, but as I am in a holiday mood, I don't mind the writing that much. I can kind of put it at a side. Uh, and I see it as the simple, enjoyable summer book that I think it is. Would I recommend you reading it? Honestly, for the writing, not really. But if you like a really light plot and characters that are just hardworking, good people, uh, yes, I think you will enjoy this. I slipped into reading the second book right away because this is, in this book, I have the three volumes of the series. Uh, so I started the second one right away and what I like in the second one already is that we also have a third character that I was more interested in and that I hope will be slightly different to these very hard-working, oh, I'm doing everything for my mother uh, characters. But I will keep you posted about that. Uh, those are the two books that I finished last week. Uh, I will see you next Friday. If I haven't melted by then, how have you been coping if the heat, if there is any heat? Uh, yeah, I, I realize that at the end of videos I often ask, oh, have you read this or that? But I never ask how people have been doing. So here's that question. How have you been doing? How's your holiday been? Have you been going away? How have you been coping with corona, etc.? Are you reading a lot when it's warm? Tell me more about your slur life. Anywho, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.